is a, an incredible development. We have to remember that upwards of a million of Iraqis have died since the beginning of the U.S. invasion, and the, the names of the victims uh, of both the U.S. military and these private military companies are almost never reported. And this is the first major case uh, brought by Iraqi civilians against a private military company like Blackwater. And one of the, the, the chilling parts of this lawsuit, as I was reading through the complaint, it says, this action seeks punitive damages in an amount sufficient to punish Eric Prince and his Blackwater companies for the repeated callous killing of innocents. Uh, we have to remember there are two other major lawsuits against Blackwater right now. One is brought by the families of four Blackwater operatives who were killed in Fallujah. The other is brought by uh, the families of active duty servicemen who were killed in a Blackwater uh, plane crash in Afghanistan in 2004. Uh, and, and what Blackwater's pattern has been is to argue uh, essentially that it can't be sued, that it should have the same immunity from civilian litigation enjoyed by the U.S. military. In the case of, of Iraqi victims of Blackwater, the pattern we've seen emerging is uh, the State Department facilitating Blackwater uh, paying thousands of dollars in hush money uh, to the victims' families. Uh, we certainly uh, heard Eric Prince uh, acknowledge that they had paid $20,000 to the family of the bodyguard for the Iraqi vice president who was allegedly shot and killed by a Blackwater contractor, uh, a drunken Blackwater contractor, uh, on Christmas Eve 2006 inside of the Green Zone. This is a very different scenario now where you have uh, Iraqi families not seeking some hush money but actually being willing to uh, put their names to a lawsuit and sue Eric Prince in the most appropriate place, and that is in the United States, which, which deployed his forces in Iraq. And, and J Jeremy, I'm, there have been almost now daily reports, new revelations each day about Blackwater. And uh, for instance, a CBS reported yesterday that there seems to be no indication that the FBI investigation is actually proceeding, that in fact that the, the car that was shot up uh, in, in the incident is still so sitting sweaty. there and hasn't been like impounded or is not being checked for forensic evidence. And well, let, let's, re let's remind people here, and your, your paper, Juan, the New York Daily News actually broke an interesting story on this front. Uh, the, the State Department, uh, the initial State Department report on the Nisser Square shootings was actually written by a Blackwater contractor on official stationery. Uh, so, you know, I mean, what, what's, what's next here? Is Kofor Black, uh, the vice chairman of, of Blackwater, he's going to be the judge that, uh, that oversees this case? And then the, the, the story I'm referring to in the Daily News was that when the FBI team was going to go over initially to investigate Blackwater, uh, they were going to be guarded by Blackwater. And then they had to back off on that and say, now we're going to be investigating it uh, be under the protection of official military sources. I mean, the, the State Department and Blackwater have acted as one actor in this, uh, in this thing from the beginning.